I am Hannah Miskimmon and I work in Northstone Materials as their environmental placement student. On the day-to-day -day basis it's very compliance based, there'd be a lot of legislation that you need to know and keep up to date with, make sure the sites are all following regulations. We do a lot of audits, both internal and external, where we kind of walk about the sites and just make sure that they're following those regulations. We also do a lot of normal site visits, whether it's a quarry or a sand site or a concrete plant and you speak to the people out on site to see how they're getting on and if they have any issues. In my role as environmental officer, we have a lot of biodiversity stuff that we do. I set up a few tire planters about the place, just add a bit of colour and encourage pollinators around the place. I've done a lot of sort of dragonfly and damselfly surveys. We put in a beehive up in one of the quarries. It's a very varied job from compliance to biodiversity and then even I get a bit of health and safety stuff thrown in as well. So it is really, really good. There's a lot to do. I decided to go into the construction industry because my family are all construction and agriculture based. I've always grown up outdoors and not scared to get your hands dirty. I knew a nine to five wasn't really for me. That's how I ended up following into construction. I basically just followed my family in. So doing a degree in environmental management has helped me get into the industry because it's given me the theory that I need to then go ahead and get the experience and apply it. But luckily my degree offered a placement year which means I am able to get involved and figure out do theories work that you learn in uni and in lectures, do they actually work on the ground? How do you apply them to different situations, different people? So definitely doing a placement has helped me get into the industry. First of all, get your foot into the door and then you speak to people, network with people. And then that means that the world's your oyster. Once you're in, that's you. Um, so luckily my placement has led on to me getting a full-time job afterwards when I graduate. You need to be able to communicate with loads of different types of people about different things because you're constantly talking to different people, whether it be an external auditor about water samples or to a shovel driver about the rugby score at the weekend. In this industry, nothing is the same day to day, so it's really good that you're constantly being challenged, you're constantly having to problem solve things. Being a woman in this industry is also really good because so many other women have paved the way. So we have things like PPE that is designed for women specifically, which you maybe wouldn't have got in the past. So I definitely think it's an up and coming industry for women. But if young people could take one thing away from this video, I would say find the balance between experience and qualification. Experience is vital and learning on the ground is essential, but don't let that take away from you getting formal qualifications. Once you get your job, that's not it. You don't have to stop. Really, I'd just say don't forget about your qualifications. Keep going, but find the balance.